Hello. In this video, we are going to go over solving logarithm equations. In this specific example, we see that we have natural logs, ln or log based e. Now, when we solve these in the past, we needed one log on each side of the equal sign to cancel or an ln. In this case, we only have an ln or log on one side. So we need to treat this a bit differently. The first thing we need to remember is that we need to combine the logs or lns that we see that can be combined. Remember, ln of x plus the ln of y can be rewritten as ln of x times ln of y. The ln of x minus the ln of y can be rewritten as ln of x, ln of x divided by y. And then lastly, any coefficients can be rewritten as exponents. Let's make that an ln before we get confused, All right? Boom, ln of x to the a. So we're going to jump straight into it. I need to combine the left side because I see there are multiple lns, and that's what we're going to start with. Well, since it's ln of 5 plus ln of 5x squared, I know I can multiply these two. So it'll be the ln of 5 times 5x squared. That is because these are being at this ln is added to that ln. Therefore, we can multiply the arguments, the insides. So now we have the point where we're at ln of 5 times 5x squared, which is 25x squared equal to 4. At this point, we need to cancel my ln. In order to cancel an ln, we have to use an e. And what I do to one side, I have to do to both. So now both ln 25x squared and 4 became the exponents for the e. This is going to cancel now. What is left? 25x squared equals e to the 4. We'll divide by 25, divide by 25. We see that x squared is equal to e to the 4th over 25. We will now square root. We'll see that x is equal to plus minus e squared over 5. So I have a positive e squared over 5 and a negative e squared over 5. We need to make sure we don't have any extraneous solutions. So I have to plug these both into x. We see we have an ln of x here. And if I get a negative number overall here, it's extraneous. So we know we plug in the positive number. It's just going to be positive. I don't have to worry about it. But when I plug in the negative number, we have to slowly do it a little bit. And we see, oh, wait, any number that is squared is going to be positive. So we'll have 5 e to the 4th over 25, making this a positive number, making this solution OK. So here is the solution to our equation. If you have other examples you would like to cover, please just shoot me an email.